Hey, I'm Vic, creator of Opera. Here to teach you how to play Skiing's After Hours game. Opera is a fast-paced card game for two to four players designed to keep ski days going long into the night. So grab your friends, crack a beer, let's get you ready to play. So here's the basics of the game. In Opera, the best ski day wins. As cards are passed around the table, your goal is to collect run cards, special cards, and bonus cards in an order that creates combinations to earn you points. You are assembling a 12 card ski day that will add up to your score. This is played over three rounds and the player with the highest cumulative score at the end of round three is the winner. We'll get into the specifics of that soon, but first, let's get you set up and ready to go. If this is your first time playing Opera, you're gonna wanna start by removing the two blank cards from the deck. These are the go off piece cards and they're there to let you add your own house rules to your deck. But for these purposes, we're gonna set those aside and play by the standard rules. So you're gonna take the remaining 70 cards and give them a really good shuffle. I'm a terrible shuffler. All right, now I look like the game designer, maybe. To start the game, deal 12 cards to every player and place the remaining cards in the center of the table. Everybody now has 12 cards in their hand. You'll each select one card to play and place it face down in the upper left area of the table in front of you. Once everybody's selected their card, reveal your cards simultaneously. You'll then take your remaining cards from your hand and pass them to the player on your left. The player on your right will pass you their cards and you'll select another card to play, placing it face down next to the card that you just played. Operate is chronological. You're collecting 12 cards in order to tell you what your ski day is. The order that those cards are played determines your score. That's how combinations are formed and that is how your score is tallied. Repeat this process until you have 12 cards in front of you. Like this, 12 cards arranged in order in two rows of six. So you go from the upper left all the way over and then the lower left all the way over to the lower right. That order will determine your score. So go ahead at this point and tally your score because the round is over. You'll then take all of the cards except for the opera card and shuffle these back into the deck. So you'll reshuffle the deck except for the opera card, which you'll set aside and save for scoring at the end of round three, the very end of the game. By the end of round three, you should have some scores that look like this. A score for each player and each round. You can add those up to get the player's total score, but the game isn't over yet. The player with the most opera cards at the end of the game gets an additional seven points added to their score. And the player with the least opera cards loses seven points. This can really affect the final cumulative scores and the outcome of the game can change at the very last minute. This makes the opera card super important for how you strategize your gameplay. In addition to the Opera card, there are 11 other types of cards in the Opera deck that do all sorts of fun things and introduce lots of different strategies. They're divided into three different types. The first type is run cards. Run cards earn you points as you go. Like green runs are only worth one point and black runs are worth three points. Then you have special cards. Special cards mix up the game a bit. There's a POW card that multiplies your run card points and a yard sale that allows you to steal run cards from other players. Then you have bonus cards. Bonus cards require you to gamble a little bit on the potential of extra points, like lift beers that can only be drank between runs or a shot ski that requires you to partner with your opponent in order to use it. All of these are of course explained in the trail map or at operagame.com rules. And that's it. I think you're ready to play. So thanks for playing. Keep your tips up.